what is up y'all hope y'all having a nice day in this video what i want to be showing you guys is the facility give cards to friends that is working once again here in gta online so let's go ahead and jump straight on into it uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and head into our penthouse here in the casino and we will need to use a specific job here i will leave that link down in the description below as you see here there is a job inside of our penthouse by the door here like I said, I will leave this link down in the description below. Make sure you guys do go down there and grab this job before you start here. But before we utilize this job, what we need to do is join somebody who is playing in a different targeting mode like Anawak. All right, so we're going to go ahead and join somebody who is playing in a different targeting mode. We're going to accept the first alert and then decline the targeting mode alert. Once we do this, we are going to go ahead and walk towards the door. Make sure you are standing in the mission circle here. And... What we're going to do is hover over Music Locker, and we are going to click on Music Locker, and then a half a second later, we are going to immediately start spamming right on the D-pad. Now, it is going to require a little bit of timing, but about a half a second later, start spamming right on that D-pad. And a couple things are going to happen here. You're going to either spawn in this little room here, or you will spawn falling through the map and then spawn on the surface. If you fall through the map and spawn on the surface, you are good to go. If you spawn in this little room, we will need to take the easy way out, so just go ahead and pull out a rocket and then blow yourself up. And then you will spawn outside here. Uh, once you are outside, what we need to do, uh, if you guys do know, once you're here at the casino and you request a vehicle, they do spawn in these parking spots here. So what we need to do is go ahead and take out some sticky bombs. And we're going to place them right here by the um, parking spots where the car will uh, show up if we do call one out, okay? Uh, from there, we need to head over to our facility. And what we're going to do is we are going to grab a street vehicle off of the street here. Um, and then we are going to pull it up into the uh, blimp here. All right, we're going to hold down the interaction menu just so we can park on top of the blimp. And then we are going to release the interaction menu, and then we should be on the facility full alert. All right, once you are on the full alert, we need our friend here to flip us over so they can go ahead and use a Arena War Issy or something like that. Arena War Issy works great, um, but we are using a bulldozer here. My friend did just go ahead and flip me over. Once they flip you over, what we are going to go ahead and do is accept the facility full alert. And once we accept the facility full alert, what's going to happen here is we'll just be sitting here uh, flipped over in the vehicle. Go ahead and jump out of the vehicle. And instead of taking the easy way out this time, what we are going to go ahead and do is call our uh, mechanic. And we are going to request for a street vehicle that we have inside of our facility. Make sure this is a street vehicle. So I do recommend to pull in some street vehicles inside your facility before you start the glitch. But go ahead and call out a street vehicle out of your facility. And as you can see, it is going to spawn up over there at the casino since the game does think we're at the casino. Hit left on the D-pad to blow the vehicle up. As you can see, we do have our personal vehicle destroyed now. If for some reason it did not blow up with the sticky bombs, we can just have our friend run to the casino, destroy our vehicle for us, and then head back here to our facility to continue helping us. If the cops come on you just like this, just go ahead and call Lester and... Uh, remove the wanted level uh, from there we're gonna have our friend pull out the vehicle that they are giving us and they are going to park right where the blip is here at the facility we're going to hold down the interactions menu so we don't accidentally walk in we're going to jump in the vehicle drop the interactions menu and it should automatically just bring us right into the facility here which is perfect once inside you're going to notice that uh, the vehicle is already in here okay it is already over top of that street vehicle that we did just blow up at the casino what we're going to do is just cancel replace. So do not replace the vehicle. Just cancel the replace. And that is it, guys. This vehicle is now yours. Now you will need to glitch out over there at the casino for each vehicle that you wish to receive from your friend here. And I do recommend to swap sessions before pulling the vehicle out of the facility. If you're not worried about pulling it out right now, you can just go ahead and rinse and repeat the glitch. But that is going to do it for this video. I highly appreciate y'all for staying tuned in. Whether you are new or you're old here on the channel, feel free to head down there and smash that like button. And if you were kind enough to subscribe, make sure to turn on all bell notifications. That way you'll never miss out on any future upload here on the channel. I will catch you guys in the next one. I am out.